Welcome to a couple of bunkies. If this is your first time watching our content, consider subscribing. In the last video that we released, I had showed off a baby crib with a mobile stand. We wanted the baby crib to be a heritage piece and to be able to be used for co-sleeping. The only issue is our bed is extra high at around 3 feet. An average bed is around 24 inches. So for this crib to be passed on from generation to generation, I had to scale it down to a normal sized bed. So I had to add an 11 inch stand for it to sit on. So with 3 inch wheels and the opening height around 20 inches, it makes it even to the side of our bed so we can co-sleep with it. We also wanted to be able to use it in the future as a stage. Now let's go ahead and start making this little mobile stage. At first I had to glue up some scrap wood that I had to make the 2x2s. After finishing the glue up, I put everything through the planer. I set my table saw to 2 inches and started cutting the board square. Altogether, I needed 4 sides and 4 legs. I measured and marked each board to the dimensions that I wanted. I took out the miter gauge and squared up each of the boards. I then set my fence and cut these boards to the right dimension. Using the miter gauge, I cut the larger pieces of the frame. I was also able to use some scrap pieces from these boards in order to make the legs. And I cut the last two legs out of some scrap wood that I had prepared earlier. And now I do a quick dry fit before proceeding. There are quite a lot of joints that I could do in order to put these legs together. But recently I had gotten my hands on a dowel jig and I wanted to continue using it. The dowel jig is limited by about 2 inches. That's one reason why I selected 2 inches as the overall width of these boards. And for some reason, the jig didn't fit. And that is all of the pieces I need in order to create this frame. In order for it to fit together the way I wanted it, I had to take everything over to the thickness planer and take about a 16th inch off. Looking back on it, it would have been a little bit better if I wouldn't have cut the legs before putting them through the planer. I use the dowel jig and drill all the holes for the dowels. When doing this, you really have to be fairly meticulous because if you end up drilling the dowels in the wrong direction, they can be a little off when you end up putting them in its final position. I suggest drawing arrows in the direction where the dowels are supposed to face in order to solve this issue. In order to put the flooring on the stage, I decided to put a rabbit in the frame in order to interlock the flooring. We used the hickory flooring from our house remodel. It was 3 fourths of an inch thick and I could easily set my blade in order to cut the rabbit. Now that the rabbits are done being cut, I can start joining these boards together. Using Type Bond 3, I joined the boards together using dowels. Once the overall frame was together, I went ahead and clamped them together with my four foot clamps. And now I measured and cut the flooring. If this is your first time watching our content, consider subscribing. And if you're already subscribed, consider sharing this video. We premiere new videos every Thursday at 7 p.m. During a premiere, you can message us directly in the chat.
After all of the flooring was cut, I was able to put them into place on the stage with a little bit of persuasion. I really enjoyed the fact that I was able to make such a nice tight fit. Now I'm able to fix the small cutout that I had made when making my rabbit. So I needed to prepare four three quarter square blocks by two inches. I had some leftovers of the two inch material which made this a breeze. I glued into place the blocks. After the glue had cured, I took the circular saw and cut off the excess. At this point, I glued the legs onto the frame. The dowel rod jig really had paid for itself under the last two projects. Now using a roundover bit in conjunction with the router, I was able to go over all of the corners on the stage. I had to remove the flooring off the stage in order to access the sides so I could round over the edges. After using the router, I switched to the palm sander so I could smooth over all of the areas. I switched back and forth between the palm sander and the router. After everything was rounded and sanded smooth, I was able to place back the flooring onto the frame. I did a light sanding over the flooring. I ended up getting out some gunstock stain and applying it to the stage. After the stain dried, I put a clear coat of polyurethane on it. And boy did the clear coat bring out all of the unique colors in this piece. After the polyurethane dried, we sanded it and repeated this step three times. I was a little concerned with how easily the floorboards were able to be removed, so I went ahead and added some toenails into the boards. If this is your first time watching our content, consider subscribing. And if you're already subscribed, consider sharing this video. We premiere new videos every Thursday at 7 p.m. During a premiere, you can message us directly in the chat. Thank you for watching this video. My family and I really appreciate everyone who stops by and watches our videos.